guys. February 13, 2019. We're in Sugarloaf, California right now. About to head down into Bear City, Big Bear Lake, Bear Valley, Southern California. So anyway, we're getting a little break in, in, in these clouds up here, but it just looks so ominous and beautiful out here, you guys. I want you guys to see why we still have a little light left. Um, it's, it's really looking nasty out here. Um, and we got a lot of rain coming in, but this is just a short update. I don't want to inundate you guys with a deluge of videos when we're going to be getting a deluge of rain. So, you know, the videos are going to be coming. So, you know that, um, I just don't want to yeah, irritate you guys, man. Um, even though this is what I love to do. Like, like, like when I want to make a video, I make a video cause I love doing it. Um, I love this. This is so awesome, man. Um, it's just so gorgeous out here. It's so pretty. Seriously. I can't tell you how many times I wish I had just, just, just one, just a hot little number right here next to me, you know, who I could call mine, <laughs> my property. No, I'm just kidding. Oh man, it'd be so nice to like cruise around and like experience like what makes me happy. And then after this, after I spend enough time up in Big Bear, go do some storm chasing in the Midwest and stuff like that. Like, um, but who knows where this is going to take me anyway, I'm going to stop this for a minute while we're at the light Peace. Oh, no, we're not because it's turning yellow. So now we're heading back into the other side of town that has significantly more snow. As I always point out to you guys, that this side of town is affected by what I what I keyed the Big Bear snow rule. Uh, but it's 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 not like scientifically I figured out some anomaly up here. It's it's very obvious. And when you watch the forecast too, um, when the news stations are showing you the Doppler radar. When you see the storms hit our mountain range, look what happens to them right when they hit our mountain range. They hit a huge dry patch, and then you'll see like the precipitation fall off right there. So, yeah, so that's, uh, it, it's, it's, it's pretty, 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 pretty neat, guys, what happens up here. We live in a very interesting area for weather because of just how different the climates are. Just within 50 square miles, 100 square miles, it's just amazing amazing we live in a very special area and uh i'm proud i get to, sh to show off some of this area to you guys so up there look see we're, well, we're starting to get more rain now but um it's just black over here guys just as, just just nasty looking straight ahead and, and that's that's what we want that's what we want um for the people coming up be prepared for the floods this is going to be flooding like we haven't seen up here in a few years or actually since i've lived here i don't think like I'm gonna go out on a limb because I saw what's supposed to be formulating um, once the main brunt of the subtropical moisture t taps in. Um, it's it, it's gonna be insane, guys. This storm is so big that it's pulling or just drawing up subtropical moisture from like a thousand miles south of Hawaii. Just insane. So so this is powerful and. No matter what, whether the storm makes a direct hit or not, we're still gonna get slammed. But if it makes a direct hit, we could really, really, really be in a little bit of trouble up here in terms of all the flooding. As you guys can see, a lot of the snow has already melted just from some of today's rain. But uh, tomorrow, that's gonna be the big day where we're gonna have severe flooding and into Thursday. So just be careful, people. Um, I don't want anything to happen to anybody. Just because it's raining doesn't mean you should be less cautious. Maintain vigilance while you're driving. Um, every wet spot, constantly assume that that's ice, even though it's not freezing. It's it's 43 outside right now. It's, it's not that cold. Um, but I just want you guys to play it extra safe. If you take these extra measures to just be a little safe, a, a little more safe. Um, if that was pro was that proper grammar? I don't I don't, I don't think so. But um, if it, if you do, it it's going to benefit you. It might be a little more time consuming, a little more pain in the butt. But trust me, it's it's gonna be well worth it. It's gonna be well worth it because your trip's gonna be so much better. And that's what we want for you guys. We want you to have a great trip up here. Um, not on acid or mushrooms, just a great trip. Um, and if you want those, hit me up. I'm just kidding. <laughs> on that, I was totally freaking joking. I meant hit me up like to give me some when you're in town. <laughs> Jeez Louise. But yeah, and it, that's a total joke. Um, I can't handle those things anymore. Like. Uh, my mind goes to a really just like negative spot. Like, what am I doing with my life? What am I doing? I'm not making my parents proud. You know, like, yeah, I, 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 I can't, I can't do that stuff. It's been years. So anyway, next subject. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we're uh, in Bear City right now, head back towards 
my home in the Moon Ridge area. We gotta stop at Little Caesars because I ordered a stuffed crust cheese pizza. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know what would be pretty cool? Oh no, I'm waiting for you guys to tell me. Like, tell me what would be pretty cool. <laughs> Oh man, there's seriously something wrong with me on so many levels, on so many levels. But look guys, I like to make fun of myself and laugh at myself and because, I mean, what, as, as I always try to make points about why take life seriously um, when at the moment you might not have to, you know, in, enjoy this thing, man. Enjoy this ride run, this wild ride run called life. And when you have to take life seriously, then do it. Bear down, knuckle down, do what you gotta do. You know, do what you gotta do. Be there for people, just, just. But, like, I used to just take everything so seriously and it would just wreck me emotionally. Just wreck me, but, you know, I'm, I've got zero baggage. Um, I'm good, I've cleaned up my side of the street. I know there will always be some wreckage that I need to clean up from my past and, uh, I'm always willing to do that. I'm willing to take responsibility for my issues and harm I've caused other people and do the very best I can to, uh, you know, to face up to those issues. And that's the man, that's the right thing to do. Being a man like that's the right thing to do. So, yeah, I, I've almost gone six years without any alcohol, you guys. June 23rd, 2013 was my sobriety date. The last treatment center I checked myself into called The Hills off of Mulholland Drive and Laurel Canyon Drive in the Hollywood Hills. Just spectacular place. I was like the only non-famous person there. It was pretty cool. But anyway, look at Stanfield Cutoff. You can't see anything over there. It's just, just miserable out there. Guys, if this was snow, we'd be getting so much snow. <laughs> so sad but the lake's gonna be happy the lake's gonna cry a tear of joy after this storm I'll tell you that I think it, it's gonna be the most I've seen the lake uh, filled this uh, after this series of storms this next week since I've lived here I hope I didn't just jinx it but that's what I am hoping that's what I'm hoping our town deserves it it deserves it man so just Look at all these. Yeah, I'll turn this off for right now. We don't want to get So there. we're back on. Um, so try and look right now. It'll be at about 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock for you guys. Can you see Snow Summit at all? I can see just a touch of it near the bottom. How about you guys? Now it's at 12 o'clock. Um, pretty amazing, man. I'm really hoping that these clouds really get heavy and descend and just spank us. Just bend us over and just spank the shite out of us. I didn't say the guys. I've been doing pretty good, huh? Come on, I, I need some real feedback on that. How have I been doing with my carsage? I'm not carsage anymore. At least not much. I'm not saying not the carsage anymore. I'm trying my best. <laughs> ah! Oh man, what would I do? If I sang out of tune, would I go to Little Caesars anymore? Players don't test when they come from the West. It's the W-E-S-T. -E Alright. Yep, yep, yep. I'm mighty talkative tonight because I'm very excited. Even though this isn't snow coming in. And the very tail end is going to be snow, but it's only going to be a couple inches probably at the most. But uh, I'm just very, very excited because no matter what weather, it just stokes me out. And this guy, like, is going to get the brake check of a lifetime in a moment if he doesn't check himself. Because I'll riggedy wreck himself. <laughs> I'll wreck himself. I'll riggedy wreck himself. So, yeah, um, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm really excited because we're just going to do a lot of moisture, um, which is going to just clear out the sky, clear out the dirty air. I love that. I love that. I love that. Especially the next day after we get uh, a bunch of storms coming through. Um, when I go out to Highway 18, I can typically see 
Catalina, no problem. I can see Fashion Island in Newport Beach, no problem. That's where I'm from. It's very easy to spot those those freaking buildings. They look like little Legos from, from like this far away, but it's, it's an absolute trip how you can see Newport Beach um, right there. And, and, I, and on one day, I could make out this little island I grew on, grew on, grew up on called Linda Isle on the corner of Bayside Drive and uh, at PCH in, in Newport. So it, it, it can get extraordinarily clear. Um, and I'm just super, super, super stoked to see that in a few days. I wish the camera could pick that up though. That'd be so amazing, but I need to spend thousands for one of those bomb, bomb cameras to do those type of pics for you guys. And if I can make that happen someday, I totally will. I totally will. All right guys, so we're at Little Seizures. And I used to work straight ahead. It was called Radio Shack, but obviously there's no more. Peace out guys. Love you guys very much. Stay tuned. Um, whatever videos I can do to make you guys stoked and make you guys feel safer, that's exactly what I try to do. I do as much as I can. I know it gets pretty redundant after a while, but maybe not because it's, <laughs> you know, there's not much, there's no, there aren't many places I can drive in, in this area, you know, to drive around for you guys. Um, so I do the best I can to try to be different, but also I, I want to show you guys the very important spots that tourism is, is very rampant up, up here where people tend to spend most of their time. It's very important that you guys feel safe there. Um, thank you very much for giving me an opportunity to serve you guys. It's a true honor. Um, and, uh, what do you guys think? Uh, am, am I starting to look manly again <laughs> with my beard? Thank you. I love you guys. Peace out.